All right, guys, welcome to Chelsea Fans Channel. This is our post-match review where Chelsea have just lost at the bowling ground or Upton Park, whichever you wish to say. It's West Ham away. We lost 2-1. Um, you know, I think our form just isn't back to normal. Even if we win one game against Aston Villa, it doesn't really seem to be changing the whole team's confidence or passion. Or no, no, no it's been terrible. I was I was optimistic today as well. I obviously, I obviously got it really wrong. I thought that the result uh, last week against Villa, and then I thought that we can control the game well in a really difficult place in the Ukraine. I was I thought that that could be a nice springboard coming into a game like this mm. to really you know put, get three three uh, good results on the bounce maybe three clean sheets on the bounce, it would have been uh, something to build on and that really didn't happen. I think we were unlucky with the, I think Fabregas' goal from what I've seen on Twitter was actually, should have stood and obviously goals influence games so that's a real shame and somebody else said that the, the header went over the line as well. Yeah. But you know, we're clutching at straws here, it wasn't good enough, it was it was an average performance from, from the beginning. Matic was really silly, really, really silly, we knew he was booked and uh, Playing with 10 men away from home like this is never going to be easy. It's such an in intimidating ground. Yeah. Playing with 10 men, you're just <clears> in trouble. <throat> well, especially when your confidence is already low. Because, I mean, yeah, we won against Aston Villa, but I mean, I think it's safe to say that even just before uh, West Ham scored their second goal, Eden Hazard had a brilliant chance. And I feel like if that was last season, he probably would have put that in the back of the net. Because he could have cut in. He didn't cut in. He kind of went down the line. And by the time he, pu he pulled it back, didn't he? And Ramirez and Costa kind of bundled into each mm. other. It was a real but shame. That's what I mean. We're not seeing. And 10 seconds later, they're, they're 2 1 up. Yeah, and we're not seeing the Chelsea that we saw last season. We're not seeing. I don't think we're we're seeing tiny, eeny bits of it, but probably about five percent out of hundred. Out of hundred, yeah. there's not really much to you, go to go from today. Apart not, from the fact that Williams' performance again, was really yeah, good, but William. again, it's not fair to only have one player doing all the work. Definitely, and we're clutching at straws, aren't we? We're finding the positive. There isn't a natural positive. We're searching for it, and no. it's just uh, it's just a real shame. I, I don't actually. I can't put my finger on what the problem. If you guys watching have any ideas, like comment, comment below. below, tell us what do you think needs to change here because I, I just can't put my finger on it I felt like the team that was selected today okay the sending off is massive but the team that was selected that starting strong. 11 was the strong, really strong. Was, was the starting really 11 strong. that you want so so going forward from here I really don't know what I really don't know what I mean it's, it's hard isn't it I mean everyone wants to go to Stoke next week and be really you know positive and you know optimistic that we're going to win the game however it's really hard to even I mean I'm asking people for score predictions I don't even know what what the score prediction Stoke, could be Stoke it's on we Tuesday come out night they've had a bad result today I've just seen on the scoreboard in there that Stoke had a really bad result. I think they lost at home to Watford, so they're going to be pumped and up for it. But yeah, us going to us going to Stoke now is is just it's probably like the worst fixture that you could be going to when you're in this vein of form and you're struggling and, you, and you're just really not playing as a, as a unit you're going to go to Stoke go. and they're going to exploit it so it really is going to be a problem all right well, well you know i mean jose's got until next week to turn it around and the players not just jose he wasn't even there in the second half i don't know no, where he, he got went. sent off i think well the, yeah but the our assistant went off first yeah a couple of maybe maybe it was a bit of a match of the day yeah. that'll be fun another match another lovely week what you all right of the day. guys well we're going to see you next week at stoke see you on tuesday uh, let's just hope everything has turned around by then cheers see you next time. Thank you.